Deputy Tully. Um, as Minister, we in this state commend ourselves on actions we've taken to curtail the spread of the COVID-19 virus. However, the stark truth is that we have failed as a nation to protect the most vulnerable people in our society, the residents of nursing homes, who amongst them account for over 40% of all COVID-related deaths. And the fact that over 2,000 people in nursing homes contracted the virus and died as a result is a damning indictment on the health service of this country. Many staff in nursing homes are to be commended on the work that they did to ensure that nobody living in their establishment contracted the virus. However, unfortunately, a number of nursing homes were asked by the HSE in their area to accept people from hospitals and were told the people being moved had tested negative for COVID and were therefore safe. Only a week later, to be told that actually the test had come back positive. But unfortunately, at that stage, the virus had spread among the residents of that particular nursing home. And that is disgraceful and should never have been allowed to happen. There needs to be a full investigation into nursing home deaths due to COVID-19. I mean, a nursing home, as its name indicates in the first instance, is a home for elderly people who no longer are able to live in their own home and who require care and support. And while everyone should feel safe in their own home, and I know that's not always the case, but for residents of nursing homes, it should be. There are paid professionals in nursing homes to care for the residents. And the lack of visitation allowed during this pandemic has led to concerns for the welfare of residents of nursing homes. The isolation, the loneliness, the mental health issues, the neglect of care and the sometimes abuse has gone undetected by family members and friends due to the fact that they could not visit their loved ones in the nursing home for a period of a year. And it's important that staff in nursing homes be mandated to report suspicions of neglect and or abuse to resi of residents to Angarda Shikana and to safeguarding and protection teams. I mean, I'm aware of members of staff who did the right thing, reported abuse of residents in nursing homes, only to be victimised or shunned by other staff as a result. I mean, that sort of attitude has to change. And just like in the educational system, it has to become mandatory to report suspicion of neglect or abuse within the nursing home sector. There are national standards for adult safeguarding. There are policies on safeguarding. They need to be strengthened through legislation and a national authority for safeguarding established with clear guidelines on how and who to report neglect or abuse to.